Welcome back to 5410 Africa. I'm Nick from Namibia and in this video I'm showing you Chumque and the sand tribes of Namibia. Finally we get to make another feature. It's been a while and we're on our way to Chumque. I spent last night camping at Roy's Rest Camp which is literally just across the road from here. This is the road that runs from Grootfontein to Rundu. Grootfontein is about 50 kilometers south, Rundu about 200 kilometers north. This is not only the turn off to Chumque, it will also take you to the southern gate of the Kaurum National Park and during normal times a border crossing into Botswana where you'll end up at Nokane. Before we hit the 220 kilometers of gravel, I want to go and show you the Kaurum National Park road sign. Now that's it. Ah, let's get out here. I've seen many, many road signs in Namibia, but you don't often see this. It's rough and tough terrain in Namibia, but not often do you see a sign that says, Four by four only. This is going to be fun. We are back on the Chumque Road, no surprises. It immediately turns into gravel. I'm just going to stop and deflate some tires. My pressures are way, way, way too high. I don't have any fancy tire deflating devices. I have to do one by one. Bare minimum, you're going to need a quality tire pressure gauge, an accurate one. So do spend a bit of money on that. And yeah, that will, that will stop you from, from being like me. I use like three different devices to sort of average out. What I would also like to do is I use my phone. So if I take off 45 seconds on the first one, then I know more or less I need to take 45 seconds off on all of them. my favorite things to do in Namibia just stop randomly next to the road and have a spot of lunch yes it is safe to do just use your common sense obviously the more vehicles you are the more people you are the safer it is but you shouldn't have any issues avoid doing it at night but then again you shouldn't be on the road at night in Namibia Nothing beats a fresh cup of coffee. Brewed right next to the road. Another 100k is Chumque. Yes, it looks like we've arrived in Chumque. There was a small little sign that said Chumque. It's not much here. Let me just see if I can clean this window up. This is probably going to make it worse. I'm not expecting too much. I was told that it's not a very big place. Um, the road here was was okay. It's probably about six and a half out of ten with some bad spots. Fortunately, I got the new Bilsteins, so that was a pleasure. Can only imagine how nice it would be if you get an uh, entire suspension replacement. How cool would that be? It's been raining. It's been raining. And there's a little bit of tar road. And that turn off, it said left to Sereketi. That's Kaudum. Lots of rain. <laughs> Good sell. I can confirm there is just check there is 4g signal oh, it's much bigger than i expected there's a primary school yeah i'm presently surprised I, I expected it to be much much smaller let's just see for the petrol station what's this this must be like uh, it looks like a lunch spot here's a chimque country lodge all the turn off this is where we'll be staying probably down there somewhere there's a lot of lazy people, that's probably police. Oh, that's the Puma petrol station. And if you carry on straight to this road, 
we will go to the Botswana border. Hey man, Hello. how are you doing? Fine, how are you? Cool man. Okay, yeah. if I make a video? Yeah, fine. No problem, sure. Okay, okay, okay cool. cool. You guys have fuel, eh? Yeah, we have fuel. Um, fuel, fuel, 50, uh, that's diesel, 50 ppm diesel, 95 petrol. Petrol, seven days a week? Yeah. Okay, cool man. Thank you very much. Can I, can yeah, I have a look around? You may, you may. Sure, thanks. Bye right, man. Cool drink, bread, some canned goods. Chutney, soap, ATM, some doom and stuff. Everything you'll need if you come to Chunque. Thank you, man. Hello. Cheers, guys. Bye. Chunque Lodge. It's not even. It's like not even two kilometers outside town. checked in at Chimque Lodge, camping, I'm not sure for how many nights. <laughs> the lodge is under new ownership, so things are a bit erratic. They're busy building here, adding, I've been told by the manager or the owner, they're adding uh, toilets and bathrooms separately for each site. So I'm having to listen to the builders and <laughs> the owner giving instructions, etc. So they couldn't even give me a price for the campsite for the night. Also, they don't, at this point, they don't do any excursions or arrange anything. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Yesterday, I failed abysmally heading south, looking for a sand village. <laughs> Today, we're heading north to the Living Museum. There's a big sign that says the Living Museum is about 20 kilometers that way. That is the, I'm actually at the four-way stop. This seems like to be the focal point of town. So that's the four-way stop. If you head that way, you go to Botswana, right down there is Chumque Lodge. And that's the direction we came from. And then this is the road to Cardo. So I arrived at the Living Hunters Museum and unfortunately it was a massive six thousand a million dollar filming fee. So I couldn't film but I did take a lot of pictures and I did take a few clips. So what I am going to do is I came to the tent, the big tent at the four-way junction that I've said I want to come and have lunch at. I'm going to get some meat, some pop, sit down and then quickly talk you through what happened at the San Living Museum. And yes, you should watch it because it was amazing. Ready to eat? Yeah. The worst piece that's left. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> the last, last final piece. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks man, no problem. <laughs> and some pop. Yeah, and you say you have the relish. Okay. But what do you call that tomato thing? Was the some pop. And the tomato and the coke and yeah. yeah. That's it. Thanks man. I'll just be in the corner here. Let me start by saying, if you've never been, if you're in the area, definitely do it. It's amazing, it's affordable. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so I arrived, I uh, was quickly showed the um, $6,000 million filming fee, which obviously is unreasonable, I can't do that. I think that's more aimed at professional filmmakers and not necessarily at me. Anyway. They did let me take pictures and a lot of short clips. All the prices are on a set list, so there's no charging you based on how you look, what your number plate says. That's pretty cool. Also, the prices should be on their webpage, so I'll put that in the link in the description below. I went for the half day action adventure package. That's six hours of almost doing everything. They started by showing me how they make fire, the piece of fire, the little stick thing. <laughs> that was pretty awesome to see. From there we went for quite a long hike. Uh, it was pretty adventurous because we ran into five elephant. That was pretty cool. Unfortunately, we're a bit far away to properly film, but still cool. Um, it's it was it's kind of cool how the sand people dealt with it. Initially they were skittish, you know, like not sure. What I did. And then when I realized the elephant were quite calm, I just chased them. I just chased them away. Along the way, they showed me the trees, they picked berries. We dug out some roots, some African potato, ground potato. They showed, that. They showed me some of the animal tracks. Mm. What else did we do? Lots of hiking. I picked a bow. And then um, 
Let me go back. We made the bow. Picked it. I picked the um, the actual bow from a tree while we were hiking. Got back. They start preparing that. Start making the string. Start making the the actual bow string from um. Hello, hello. From sinew of a giraffe. And that's it. Unfortunately, the six hours turned into like eight hours. It just got way too long and I had to go. But we did end the day with some dancing, some cool songs. That was also cool. That was my living, that was my living the signs outside. <laughs> my living hunters museum experience. I highly, highly recommend it. And then also, I'm gonna stop at this little tent. It's right on the four-way for some lunch. It's awesome, it tastes awesome. There's some, some Namibian rye flesh slash street food. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please consider joining my Patreon for only five years dollars per month. From Chumque Lodge, Chumque, as always, I'm Nick from Namibia and you'll be watching 5410 Africa.